You know variables, you know loops, but when you sit down to write a program, you don't know where to start. This is the screencast for you. This is Blank Editor. Welcome to Blank Editor, I'm Al Swigert. In this episode, we're going to be working on Project Euler's Problem 6. And here's the problem. It, says, it tells us the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus and so on and so on, and all the way up to plus 10 squared is 385. Now square numbers, if you don't remember, are just the number times itself. So 1 squared is 1 times 1, or 1. 2 squared is 2 times 2, or 4. 10 squared is 10 times 10, or 100. And the square of the sum, the other way around, of the first 10 natural numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way up to 10, and then taking that number and squaring it, which is 55 squared, or 3025. And so the difference between these two numbers is 3025 minus 385, which is this number, 2640. Now what this problem wants us to do is find the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 100 natural numbers. So instead of just going up to the first 10 natural, uh, natural numbers, it just wants us to expand this to the first 100 natural numbers. And here's the answer right here, but we'll go ahead and solve this ourselves, starting from a blank editor. So I'm going to create a variable called sum of squares, and I could just type all of this code out, like 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3, but this is going to be really long and boring. So instead, I'm going to create a for loop to do this calculation for us. I'm going to have a number i that starts at 1 and goes all the way up to, but not including, 101. So that way it goes up to the number 100. So we're going to have sum of squares start off at 0. And then we're going to calculate these square numbers, which will be i, and add that to our running total here in the sum of squares variable. So that on the first iteration through this loop, this will be 1 times 1, and it adds that to our sum of squares. And then on the next iteration, this will be 2 times 2, and it adds that to sum of squares, and so on and so on, until finally it gets all the way up to 100 times 100. Next we want to calculate the square of sums. And this is going to be a little bit similar. We're going to have another for loop that also goes through all the numbers from 1 to 100, except this time what we want to do is add up all of these numbers, just i, and then finally after adding up or summing those numbers 1 to 100 here, we then want to square that. So we'll just take whatever number is currently in there and then multiply it by itself, and that will be the new value of square of sums. Done this for all the numbers for the first 100 natural numbers. Now it wants us to find the difference between them. So I'm going to print the square of sums minus the sum of squares. Let me just add some comments right here. Calculate sum of squares. Add a little example of what that is because it's really easy to get those confused. And here we are calculating the square of sums. And then finally we'll find the difference. Now if I go ahead and run this, this is a really fast program to run. It calculates this number, 25,164,150, which is the same as the answer. <laughs> 